1999 kickoff for a mammoth Swiss project that was to last 17 years. The task to build a new Alpine rail tunnel, the third in the Gotthard Pass region, and help bring northern and southern Europe closer together. The work involved four huge machines, each weighing 3,000 tonnes, which began drilling in 2003. It took them seven years to blast through 73 different types of rock, displacing more than 28 million tonnes of rubble in the process. Nine workers were killed during the construction. October 2010, and one of the drilling machines pierces the final few centimetres of rock, joining the two ends together. The distance by which they're out of alignment is minimal, just centimetres. The world's longest and deepest railway tunnel lies more than 2,000 metres below the summit of Pisvatgira and runs for 57 kilometres from north to south. In the 19th century, crossing this part of the Alps took days. Soon, high-speed trains will whisk passengers through the new tunnel in 20 minutes. The cost, nearly 11 billion euros, has been entirely met by Switzerland. The country's president has called it a giant step for the Swiss, for their neighbours and the rest of the continent. The tunnel consists of three tubes, one each for the trains and one to evacuate passengers if necessary. Once final testing ends later this year, around 65 passenger trains will pass through each day, reaching speeds of up to 250 kilometres an hour. There will be even more freight trains, around 260 daily, reaching 160 kilometres an hour. The project is the key component in a new rail link running through the Alps, creating a rail corridor from Rotterdam on the North Sea to Genoa on the Mediterranean. It's been described as a symbol of European unity at a time of increasing fragmentation. Above all, the aim is to shift heavy loads from road to rail, easing traffic congestion, especially in the Gotthard Road Tunnel, as well as reducing pollution. Paid for by a mixture of taxes, road charges and state loans, the Gotthard Base Tunnel has public support, backed by Swiss voters in a series of binding referendums in the 1990s.